Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the John Deere Strongbox Battery Charger Maintainers, or better known as trickle chargers. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit about each one of these trickle chargers, why they're important, what the benefits are to having one of these chargers. And at the end, we'll also show a quick demo on how to install this top charger here, which is actually made to mount to your machine. So stick with me here and we'll get started. So to start, we'll talk a little bit about what these charger maintainers are used for primarily. And if you're familiar with the term trickle charger, then you know that these are the chargers that we put on our machines or hook up to our machines at the end of the season. You know, if it's for your lawnmower, uh, so when you're done with cutting season, we may put one of these on to keep that battery fresh. Uh, maybe you put one on your tractor because it's not used very often. Or even if you live in maybe a cold climate, you know, you put one of these on your vehicle just to keep that battery warm. So these are going to be the three here that John Deere offers. They have two one and a half amp options here. One is going to be a mountable, which we'll go over more here at the end. The other is going to be more like one that you would leave, say, on your workbench or in your garage to be able to hook up to your vehicle. And then we also have a three amp option here. So the difference between the three amp and the one and a half amp is that being that the three amp has the more amperage, it's going to be able to charge that battery faster. Now, some of the importance of having these trickle chargers on our equipment, especially for equipment that doesn't get used often or that equipment that's gonna sit over time, is that we wanna make sure that we're taking care of that battery and making sure that we're getting the life out of that battery that we expect. When a battery sits over time, um, and it's not being used and it loses that charge over time. Batteries will discharge when they're not being used. Now, when a battery discharges and it's losing that charge, um, something can happen called sulfation, which is actually a corrosion of the plates within your battery that can damage them and make them to where your battery loses that life or could eventually just completely ruin that battery altogether. Now, also, we talked a little bit about in the opening about that cold climate, making sure these batteries are staying charged because in the cold climate, the battery can actually discharge faster. Um, also, what you can run into is if it does get cold enough, those batteries will freeze and this will cause the outside to bust, leaving you a mess, leaving that battery permanently damaged. Whereas if you have a trickle charger on that battery, it's keeping it charged, it's keeping it warm, and it's not allowing that, to, that battery to freeze inside, which preserves the life of your battery. I'll go ahead and open these up and show you what's inside. We'll start here with the top one. This is the one that we are going to install on this mower that I have here behind me, uh, but great option. It says here on the front, it is fully automatic, which is what you're gonna see on all three of these, which means that these chargers are gonna turn on when they need to. They'll be able to detect when your battery is getting weak. They'll be able to determine whether it's a six volt or 12 volt so they can adjust the amount of electricity they're sending to that battery. So pretty standard with most, most of these, you're going to get you know, an instruction manual. So if there's anything that I miss in this video, you can make sure to refer to that. You're also going to get the charger itself, which in this box, this charger specifically, you're going to get the charger that has the two mount holes here. Now this can either be mounted to say the fender of your machine or to a part of the frame wherever you can mount this or it also has a mounting bracket and bolts here or we can actually mount this to the charger and set it underneath the battery which i'll show more of here in a minute but here on the charger we do have our ac plug in here then we also have our terminal ring connectors that'll go straight to the battery and then here on the front we have a couple of led lights that are going to tell you uh, different things it's going to tell us when it's charging and tell us what it's what's going on with the charger as it's installed to your machine. So that's our first one. We'll move here to the three amp. This is going to be the larger maintainer. It's gonna come with a couple of different hookups with it. Again, we do have that instruction manual. We actually have a 12 volt outlet with that quick connector. We're going to have the ring terminal hookup with quick connector in and fuse here just to make sure that we're not, you know, overdoing it, sending too much electricity uh, to that battery. We do have that fuse there. 
We've also got our two alligator clamp hookups. And notice all of these have this quick connect in, which is great, making this very versatile, easy to change out those different connections. And then we have our charger here. Now it's a lot larger than you saw on our mountable one. You are gonna have an actual display here telling you what's going on with the charger. It also has this nice convenient hook that flips out here. So you can hang this up, say in the shop, wherever you have it. Um, you know, you just have a few more options of where you can set this one. And then once again, we have that quick connect in and our AC plug. Now for our last one here, this is gonna be our more stationary one and a half amp charger. Uh, this is probably the one that we see uh, that gets used the most. So again, we have those ring terminal hookups here with that quick connect end. And we've also got our alligator clamp hookups here with quick connect. And then we have our charger once again with that AC hookup and with that quick connect in. Now we also have these different lights here displayed. One nice thing is this one does have a light telling you if you get those clamps crossed, if you have them positive and negative and have them mixed up, it will tell you. It's also gonna tell us again when it's charging here. And last but not least, we also have that instruction manual with it as well. So like I showed guys, we have three different options here depending on you know, what size of battery you've got. Now keep in mind too, these are not only for our lawnmowers or our farm equipment. These can also be used on our vehicles and they are both a charger and maintainer. So if that battery is running low, we just need to get it charged up. It's gonna be a very slow charge, uh, but these will work as a charger. Uh, but primarily we're using these as that maintainer to be keeping up with that battery life in times where these machines aren't being used. So from here, guys, we'll go ahead and jump right in and I'll get underneath the seat here on this mower and just show you how to install our one and a half amp slow charger to this Z920. All right, so moving right into mounting our mountable trickle charger here. Like I said before, as you can see here on the back, we have two mounting holes here and it does come with our bolts and nuts here. Now you can drill out holes in your machine if you have a place, say on the fender, if it's a mower or a tractor, uh, some place that you're not gonna damage if you drill through, you can mount this there. But what we're gonna do for today's purpose is we're actually gonna mount the bracket and show you how you can just set this underneath the battery where the charger faces the outside. And then that way you're not having to mount, hard mount it to anything, but it's ready to go if you need to switch it to another machine, but that way the charger can stay with the machine without it being hard mounted to the side. So first thing we're gonna do is take our screws here and you actually wanna go in through the back here. That way you have the flat side, the flattest side you can facing the battery because this, the back of this bracket here is what's going to be facing your battery. And start our nuts here. And then we'll go ahead and get our bottom one started here. And those are going to be a 10 millimeter. So just break out that 10 millimeter wrench here. All right, and once you've got that on, now we'll be able to slide that underneath the battery and this be sitting on the outside. So we'll go ahead and get underneath the seat install our two ring terminals here, show you how that looks. So once you get underneath the seat or under the hood, wherever your battery is at, the first thing we wanna do is decide which side of the battery is the most open and we have the most room to put our charger. So it looks like here on the back side is where we're gonna be putting this one. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and relieve this strap here and then we'll take our charger, go underneath this wiring here and then we'll actually just raise up on the battery and slide that charger underneath and then set it back down to where the battery is resting on that bracket and creating that pressure and putting its weight on that charger bracket to keep it in place. And then we'll wanna make sure that we've got plenty of room, plenty of stretch here to hook up our ring terminals, which we do there. And then we'll just go ahead and strap this battery back in. The next part is going to be actually hooking up our ring terminals 
to our posts here. Now, when we're doing this, we always want to hook up our positive first. And if you're not familiar with batteries, um, you do have a positive and negative. The positive is usually going to be indicated by this red. Same thing here on our cable and our negative with black. So we'll start here by hooking up our positive side. These are going to be 10 millimeters here, 10 millimeter bolts and nuts. Now you want to be careful too when we're using these tools to not connect here by touching our negative post. So just be careful when you're doing that. And we'll go ahead and get these loosened off here. Now, big key to making sure that these chargers are doing what they're supposed to is making sure that the terminals are making good connection to the post. So it's the same thing if you're hooking up those alligator clamps, whatever you're doing, we wanna make sure we're making good connection to the post here. So I'm actually gonna install this first terminal on the back side in between the post and our battery cable here. And like I said, making sure that that makes good connection. We just wanna be looking and making sure that we get this on tight. Making sure also when we take those cables loose that we don't have any corrosion on this post, making sure that's good and clean so we are making that good connection. And then next we'll just move over here to our negative and do the same thing. Once again, taking our terminal going in between the cable and the post there and then running our bolt through and then going back on all right and then once you got those good and tight go ahead and grab that extension cord which we'll do here plug this thing in make sure that it's working so our last step here is to go ahead and plug it in make sure we're going to work so i've got an extension cord here i'll go ahead and plug that in and as you can see our two lights have come on there we'll wait a second to see what we get all right so we have that solid red light which means that it is charging so therefore we know that we've done everything correctly we're set up and the battery is charging Good deal. Got a working trickle charger. All right, guys, so there you have it. There was the information on the three different types of John Deere battery charger maintainers or trickle chargers, and also a quick demo on the mountable version. Now, keep in mind that if you are looking into one of these other styles, the hookup is virtually the same, except you will have a longer cord coming out of the mower or out of the machine that you're putting it on um, that'll hook up to either those ring uh, adapters there or also you do have those alligator clamps you have a couple of different options of course with these other two so just know that the hookup is virtually the same when you're going on with those ring eyelets so guys um you know i think that we've gone over and put enough emphasis on how important these are um they are going to be a great piece of equipment to have so that we make sure that when our machinery sits or our vehicle sits or maybe our boat uh, jet skis, whatever those things are that you may have when they're sitting for a while, we want to make sure and maintain those batteries. And these are a great option to do that. So guys, if you're interested in these, um, I am going to put a link in the description below where you can go to buy these chargers directly from me. Also guys, if there's anything I left out, any other questions or comments you may have, make sure to leave those in the comments section below so I can get back to you. And also guys, um, I'm going to put a phone number down below where you can reach me directly if you have any other questions um, or comments uh, that you want to reach me directly with. I will put that number below. And also guys, if you're looking for any other John Deere equipment parts, mower parts, gator parts, tractor parts, make sure to check us out at west-equip.com slash parts for all those needs. And guys, I just wanna thank you so much for stopping in and watching these videos. Also, if this video helped you out, make sure to give that a like and give us a subscribe as that helps us out as well. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go buy your parts at west-equip.com slash parts.